Hi guys, in today's video we're going to be reviewing the Evolution 2-in-1 CR Plus Airbrush. The Evolution CR Plus 2-in-1 Airbrush comes with a 0.2 and a 0.4mm needle nozzle set. We'll take the Evolution out of the box and see what comes inside. We get a leaflet on safety instructions. We also get a leaflet on cleaning instructions. And we also get a really handy instruction booklet. Although brief in its contents, it's really good showing you how to troubleshoot and all the components of the airbrush. As you can see the instruction manual is really well designed and it comes with easy to follow diagrams that the beginner airbrush user can easily follow. Let's have a look inside the evolution box. The Evolution 2-in-1 CR Plus Airbrush comes with a 0.4 needle nozzle separate from the airbrush as you can see housed in the tube and it's already installed with a 0.2 setup. The Evolution comes installed with a needle protector cap but it also comes with a horned cap. This is brilliant for easy access to the needle for cleaning quickly dry tip here I'm just taking off the needle protector cap and swapping it over for the horn cap The Evolution CR Plus 2-in-1 airbrush comes with a spare colour cup. The large one's 5ml and the small one's 2ml. Let's take the Evolution CR Plus apart. I start off by unscrewing the handle at the back. Then I unscrew the needle securing nut. I depress the trigger and slowly pull out the needle. I unscrew the middle component. This enables us to remove the needle chuck and the needle spring. I take out the trigger. I unscrew the valve body. I take off the needle cap, unscrew the air head, and the nozzle just comes out of the air head like so. Now let's put the airbrush back together again. I start off by placing the valve 
body back onto the airbrush. Replace the trigger. I replace the needle chuck and spring and screw on the middle component. I place the nozzle into the airhead and screw this back on to the airbrush. Replace the needle cap. Depress the trigger on the airbrush and slowly place the needle to the front of the airbrush. I secure the chucking nut and replace the handle at the back of the airbrush. And our airbrush is put back together again. Here I'm doing some tests on some paper with some Vallejo Game Air Bloody Red. I will add a tiny amount of airbrush thinner to the Bloody Red colour, which is already pre thinned because I'm using a 0.2mm needle nozzle setup, which is quite fine. The Evolution sprays middle sized lines very very smoothly and as you can see as I get closer and pull back on the trigger less I can get super fine lines also on the 0.2mm setup. Here I've painted an ultramarine's cape using the evolution but now I'm going to add a little bit of dirt to the bottom of the cape and we'll see how easily and smoothly that I can do this with the evolution CR plus. As you can see the effects building up nice and smoothly. This is the first time I've used a 0.2mm needle nozzle setup and I really like it. It has superb ability to spray fine lines but also you can get really nice medium spray patterns out of it as well. To review this airbrush I've only had chance to paint a certain amount of models with it 
but in the short time I've had it I love how smooth it is I love the 0.2 millimeter needle nozzle setup that you get and also the 0.4 is going to be brilliant for base coating and priming the chrome plating on the Evolution Airbrush on the CR Plus models a huge bonus if you suffer with allergic reactions to nickel as some people do so that's definitely a bonus it comes with the same type of trigger system that you get in the Infinity again which I think is absolutely superb and very very smooth I reviewed the Infinity Airbrush recently and I'll put a link in the description box down below to that one I did if I'm completely honest miss the cut out at the back on this airbrush and also the paint limiting system which I haven't used much in the past which I heavily used on the Infinity model but for the price of this two-in-one set and the smoothness of it and the triple chrome plate in this airbrush is almost faultless. I think it's absolutely fantastic. What I also love about the Hydra and Steam back airbrushes is that the nozzles are easily taken out from the front of the airbrush and easily clean. So it makes cleaning the airbrush for a novice really straightforward and simple. So please guys let me know what you think of the Evolution CR Plush airbrush and also if you own this airbrush or a similar airbrush please put a comment down in the comments box below and let others know what you think of it and I'm going to put a link in the description box down below for everythingairbrushes.com where you can actually purchase this airbrush from and also please hit the like button if you've enjoyed it and I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks for watching guys.